okay, listen up. We got to take care of some, some uh, housekeeping as a church family. Okay, so we'll, we're going to get into the message. We're going to finish the message. Don't worry about the message, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, we need to calm down. We need to calm down. Well, I tell you what, we're going to roll the news clip. And guys in the booth, when I say stop the tape, can you stop it? And we'll, okay, so listen. Pay close attention to what, you're about to, to what you're about to hear and watch. Well, coronavirus is still spreading globally. There are over 100,000 cases now confirmed. Italy, one of the hardest hit countries, over 200 people there have Stop. already been killed. 100,000 cases. And what did she just say about Italy? Okay, so you get it. Or, or, you know, you think you have it, or they think you have it. They're confirming. Okay. You take the numbers that are out there regarding the coronavirus, and you put them up against the flu, the common seasonal flu that happens every year. And the numbers are in the hundreds to the tens of thousands. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Did you know in the last few days in California, over 516 people have died because of the flu? You didn't see that on the news, did you? How come? Why not? Some, listen, we, are, we are panicking over a media-driven issue that if there were no such thing as media, you wouldn't even be dealing with this thing. Roll the tape. Told by the virus, correspondent Amy Kellogg joins us from Milan. Hi, Jillian. Well, the cases in Europe generally have been spreading quite quickly this week. They're talking about in the last three days, cases going up about 30 percent, but the numbers for Italy today just came out and it seems that in the 20, past 24 hours about 30 percent uh, more cases have been found here in Italy. Total number, Jillian, 5,883 cases. Uh, actually now there are 5,061. That is because about 600 people have been cured, but 233 people have died. People are Stop. being very careful now. She's, she's, look, she, listen, by the way, she's a great lady. I'm not knocking her, but the producer, notice they're talking in, in percentages. And if you're quick, you're listening to these numbers. Okay, this growth, you would think, oh my goodness, that's horrible. This is nothing compared to the common flu of, of, any, of any season. Listen to what she says carefully. Now, right now she's citing... Italy, she's in Milan. Italy's been hit hard. Um, and I'm curious, I'm not, I'm not bashing Italy, but I've been there, and it's not easy to wash your hands in Italy. No, just by, just, it's just not easy. If you've been to that country, You've got to find bathrooms and restaurants and places somewhere, somehow, to wash your hand. It's not easy. But even still, we're talking about 5,000, 6,000 cases where people have the coronavirus. There's more than that in the state of California that have the flu right now. Roll the tape. To say that uh, those deaths happened with coronavirus, not necessarily because of coronavirus, because in 80% of the people who have died here uh, with the virus, they have had at least two other medical uh, conditions going on simultaneously. Stop now, the tape. things are. <laughs> Washington State, the state of Washington, what's the death toll right now in Washington State up to? 11, 12, 13? Six of the people that you, you know, six of the people who died from, from the coronavirus, six of those people died in the same convalescent home 
because they were compromised. They, had, they were very old and or they were very, very sick to begin with. Did you know that? Did you know that you can get the coronavirus? You could actually have the coronavirus and the media has caused you to panic and freak about it? But no one's, screen, no one's quarantining other people with flus that are way more dangerous. So you need to start asking the question, what? what's going on? What, what's up? What's up with this? So she's announcing, she just said a moment ago, oh, there's some people uh, that are sick or dying, but they, they had the virus, but they also had, had serious complications. Translation, we're not sure if the virus killed them or, or their hepatitis or their something else. We know this for a fact, that coronavirus, people who are very young, asthmatics, uh, elderly, if you have a very compromised immune system, it could, be, it could be threatening for you. It could be. It doesn't mean you're going to die. You need to know that because, you're, this is, listen, you're, we're not being told the truth on this. It's, it's, it's kind of embarrassing, to be honest with you, when you can't get water or Costco or uh, water and toilet paper from Costco or from the grocery stores. Because of what? What are you doing? Panicking. The police had to be called to prevent a riot at Costco. Why? Why? We gotta get toilet paper and water. Why? Coronavirus. Okay, toilet paper I get. We live in an earthquake land. You should have toilet paper. You never know. Water? Earthquake. We live in earthquake. I, okay, I get that. Why would you stack up on water for the coronavirus? No, I'm, I'm dead serious. Why buy water? I can hear crickets. <laughs> because, it, because it eats your pipes? Does it destroy your plumbing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are panicking as a culture. If you can think of a good reason why coronavirus should cause you to make a run on the water, on the bottled water, I'd love to know. Because somehow coronavirus, I guess, is going to attack your plumbing in your house. We do have running water in this country. This is, a, this is proof that it, people are panicking. It makes no sense. Roll the tape. So far from normal here. This is Saturday evening. I'm on the Duomo Square. It is quite empty. Uh, people are being told to keep three feet one from another. And normally crowded markets on a Saturday have been seen looking very, <laughs> Sorry. very Stop. thin. Sorry. People Stop. It's going to kill the world. Stay three, if we're three feet away from each other, we're okay. <laughs> now, here's the deal. It's not gonna kill the world, but the three foot warning that came from both the CDC and the World Health Organization, and here's the reason why. Uh, the coronavirus uh, is, it has a very, very poor trajectory when it becomes airborne. It's heavy. It has a, a thick uh, surface tension is what it's called. And so when it comes out of your mouth, it falls shortly out of your mouth, it falls onto surfaces. Okay, it's not just floating around like some things can. It's heavy, it goes down, it'll land quickly. So to be safe, three feet. What does that mean? It means you wash your hands. No, it, it just simply means that, well, if you're in a smart church like this, you start what you started a couple months ago with the Calvary Chapel fist bump. You just fist bump and then wash your hands. But fist bump, don't, don't go around. <coughs> hey, nice to meet you. Okay, and if you're sick, stay home. Use common sense. If you're sick, stay home. If your child is sick, don't, don't come to church. Don't bring sick baby into the children's ministry. That's not smart. Nobody wants to do that. That's not good. If you're sick, stay home. 
And especially if you, work for, if you work at a company where you're in contact with a lot of people, I'm sure the employer would gladly pay you to stay home. But we're panicking. We are really, it's kind of embarrassing. I mean, globally, it's embarrassing. Roll the tape. People are told by the authorities not to go visit their elderly parents for risk of exposure, and that is difficult in a family-oriented country as this. It is causing a lot of distress. Italians are feeling the sting of being from the country with uh, the most cases outside of Asia. There's frustration in being unable to leave this place as uh, lots of flights have been canceled. This cruise ship is the latest example. It tried to dock in Thailand yesterday. It was turned away. It is looking for a place to dock at this moment. All of this because it has 173 Italians on board. Stop. Uh, you won't stop. So stop the tape. They're not even sick. They're not sick. They're Italians. Don't let the Italians off. That's the, that's the truth. Excuse me. How many Italians do you have on board? 136. You're not coming in. This is panic. This is panic. Roll the tape. Be the Pope tomorrow giving mass from his usual window in the Apostolic Palace. He'll be streaming live from a library in the Vatican. This uh, protocol will be in place until at least mid-month, and that is, of course, uh, another effort to limit the spread of coronavirus. Iran continues to be another hot spot. They had about 1,000 okay, new this cases is great. in the last stop, week. Stop this. This is great. This is great. I'm not a brain surgeon or a nuclear scientist, but you can see other examples of this in various Asian cities. This is Tehran. But if you, see what they're, if you see what they're doing in China, okay, they have these massive trucks with these sprayers like this. This guy's just doing by hand. They have these, China's got these automated, massive trucks driving with spraying stuff all over the city. Not once have I heard anyone yet ask, what are they spraying? <laughs> I'm more, I, that could be water because maybe people think, oh, our tax dollars at work, everything's going to be fine. Or what is it? Is it bleach in water? Is it, is it, is it dove or dial? What are they spraying? Is it, is it tied? What are they spraying? No one's asking. Now what's going to happen? In three, are we going to have people in Tehran in three years with three eyes on their forehead, <laughs> not from corona, but from this thing they're spraying? I want to know what that is. Okay, roll the tape. Four hours. It's a country where the press is very tightly controlled. You can't just film what you That's want. But over the last few days, uh, I have seen lots of video coming out of the Islamic Republic of authorities, municipal workers, disinfecting public squares. And that, of course, Jillian, there's, it's because there's a psychological aspect to all of this as well as a medical one. People need to feel assured in some way that uh, governments are looking after them. Finally, back to Italy, uh, the head of the Rome region, the president of, uh, of, of Lazio, has come down with coronavirus today. He gave a video message on Facebook saying that he was feeling okay. Uh, his protocol has been just to stay home. So that is somewhat encouraging to see someone who is sick but not looking altogether fragile, uh, and his message was just positive that he would keep working, but from home. And also in Naples, the first case of a U.S. serviceman based in Europe coming down with coronavirus today, uh, a member of the Navy, again based in Naples, and no more information about that situation. Okay, That's we, the latest from Milan, okay. Jillian, back to you. Okay, stop. Thanks for... Okay, so uh, international news. We have a sailor in Italy with the coronavirus. Okay. What about all the other sailors in Italy and all the other places in the, that are sick with something? This is overboard, panic. Where did, where did it start? In China. Is there any linkage? No, no. Is there any linkage with this virus in China? Now, China's done some funny virus things in the past. 
Is there a link? I don't know. I don't know, but if I were to put on my uh, conspiracy hat, okay, what if, what if I'm sitting in China and I'm watching my government and my country and my economy get torn to shreds because some guy got elected in Washington and pulled the mask off our charade that we were perpetrating on the world. China steals technology and robs other countries of its intellectual properties and then gets second, third-rate companies to build the knockoffs. There's an Apple store in China that's not even an Apple store. And the mask got knocked off by the tariffs and the internal economy of China is plummeting. And they'll, they won't take us on in a war, they know that. But they can't keep going the way that they're going, they'll implode. Is it possible that something's out there, people are panicking, because you know what? It plays right into the hands of a global government type of thinking, globalism. Because as long as the economies of nations that are uh, open and uh, free trade nations are exploding globally, globally like they are right now, it really puts a crimp in the globalist agenda. And now our market's down 3,000 points, I think. And that's not good. How, if you can't beat a nation, what, to what extent would you go? Now that is conspiratorial type thinking. But if I were a general, or if I sat on the Pentagon Joint Chiefs of Staff, that's exactly the kind of stuff I'd think of. I want to show you a slide here. Okay, this is from Fox News. I want you to look at that carefully. What does that say? What are those? Co look at it. Red, 10,000 plus confirmed cases. Wouldn't you think that by the looks of it that the U.S. is just as engulfed in this as China is? You guys all know where China is, right? To the right? China? <laughs> That's pretty terrifying. You look at it like that, you just go, man, if that's the case, I'm moving to Russia. <laughs> In Russia, they just, it, it doesn't matter. It's so cold there right now, nothing lives. <laughs> this is misleading. This is Fox News, this is fake news. In fact, I'm going to show you something. Next slide. I wish you, uh, you guys need to go look at this next slide because it really gets graphic. This is from the CDC, or so, sorry, Johns Hopkins University. And compare it to the Fox News thing you saw a second ago. If you, at this website, you can tap on the United States or any country. You can tap on, you can enlarge the United States, then you can enlarge the West Coast, then you can enlarge California, and then you can get down to your county. And the amount of people that are believed to be exposed to coronavirus in the US is a dot compared to what we think the China numbers are because China won't say. The point is, if we were to put up a chart, which I should have, if we were to put up a chart of the bird flu, H1N1, uh, other, other sicknesses that got your attention, you'd, you'd say, man, that's, a, that's something to worry about. Did you know Experts are saying, if you get it, or if you think you have it, I'm not kidding, go read the CDC, I was looking at it last night. If you think you have it, and you're healthy, stay home, wash your hands, stay away from people, and 
you'll get over it. But you're not being told that. Something's weird. Something's weird. I don't know what, but something's weird. This is no big deal. And they're, they're treating people, I don't think, I don't, I, do I have any, is that the end of the slides? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so look. Um, look at, the, look at the, the bottom, 30, 34 million to 49 million flu illnesses. Center for Disease Control estimates that from October 1st, 2019 through to February 29th, 2020, there have been 34 to 49 million flu illnesses. Move to the right. 16 million to 23 million flu medical visits. 350,000 to 620,000 people have been hospitalized because of the flu. 20,000 to 52,000 people in America have died because of the flu. That's not the coronavirus. You're in more danger of the flu than you are of the coronavirus. And everybody's freaking out, so I can't get toilet paper anywhere, <laughs> and I got a drink out of my tap. <laughs> we just need to calm down. You need to spread the news to people. Let's, let, it's, it's flu season. Be wise. Fist bump people. You have to hug them and smooch them. Give them a fist bump. But something's up. I don't know what. It's weird. It's weird. I, uh, this, is, uh, this was right before first service. A representative of the Ministry of uh, Health in Israel is recommending, listen to this, this is panic, that every Israeli returning abroad from any country be quarantined for 14 days. On Sunday, Dr. Weinstein, the health ministry official, said she expected that the coronavirus will infect as many as 60% of Israelis. She has no evidence for this. Quote, we are talking about tens of thousands of patients. Close quote. She noted that most people who are infected with the virus will have very mild symptoms or some no symptoms at all. Yet she still recommends a quarantine period. <laughs> Just we need to be wise. 